So I have a Vizio main board for an M75-C1, and while trying to remove the heat sink, the customer using a prying tool damaged some traces down here. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of rebuilding there. Looking at the Vizio traces that were damaged, I actually already removed some of the coating on the board using our little Dremel tool to expose the copper. And it looks like we have, and I'm gonna spray with alcohol, I think it'll be easier to see. There we go. So we have one, two, three, four, uh, we're gonna have to probably rebuild that. Five, six traces that are damaged. The top two here look okay. So I did grab a small trace that I'm gonna try and use to start rebuilding these guys. If I'm having too much of a hard time with the traces, we're gonna do uh, some wires instead, but or we might do a combination. But first, like I said, we're gonna need to push this back a little bit so that it's not in the way and at risk of shorting the trace above it. And I have a fear that I'll have to probably break it in order to properly move it back to where it belongs, where it needs to be. Oh. And did I break it? Maybe. Let's see. Have to also move this one back a bit. But we are going to have to use some flux. Oh no, uh, there we go. I accidentally got it soldered on the wrong pad. All right. All right, I'm gonna try some different tweezers and we're also gonna do a different orientation, see if that might make it a little easier for me. good contact here. Let me make sure I have good contact here. All right, that looks a lot better. All right, let's go ahead and grab our second trace. I didn't actually pre-tin these, so let me do that with the rest of the, of the traces. Now I wanna be very careful, of course. Make sure I don't accidentally desolder that trace we got up there. That did it. No, not quite. Okay, we're gonna do some quick continuity checks, making sure that what I'm doing is actually working. We do get continuity there. 
And same over here. Okay, so the first two wires that we put down are working. So we'll keep going. Again, we'll do a little clean just so it's easier to see what's going on. And I'm using a very soft toothbrush and I'm very gentle with it for obvious reasons. Yep, and we're getting continuity. So that means our, well, from the top, our first, our third, uh, the fourth one is still good. We never touched that one. And our fifth are all good. So now we have to do the second and third from the top. And those we're gonna be doing wires and we're gonna be doing them from a little further away just to ensure we don't short things out and undo some of the work we've already done. So for the remainder of the two traces that we need to do, we're actually gonna be using this coated wire and we're gonna be using our Dremel to expose some more of the copper, but from a little further away. So I'm gonna go over here. Well, that wasn't a very good job. Let's try that again. Okay, that's better. Oh, I see. Okay, I made a mistake. So actually I should have done this one over here. All right, that means we're gonna have to just pick a different spot. So we'll go over here now. Whoops, miscounted. All right, that'll do. And then, let's see, third, so fourth one, but becomes the third is over here. And I think we're gonna have enough space that I can just do it right there. And I messed it up, so we're gonna go right here. This is already not pretty. We're gonna go second one. here and right here not my best but it'll do so same as before we're gonna want to tin these and of course flux always makes things easier Okay, there we go. So I've already stripped the wire, and to prep it, we're gonna add a little bit of flux on the wire itself and a little bit of solder before we try to attach it. No, that doesn't feel quite right. Let's, let's see if adding more solder helps. I might just not have enough solder. I might also not have enough of the trace exposed. That feels a lot better. Okay, and let's go to the other side. Okay, it's a little bit long, so let me try to bend it. I think we got good adhesion. We'll get our second one going. So same as before, I'm getting some flux and some solder on the wire. So I've just extended my traces, so it's gonna be a little easier for me to solder to. 
I think our problem is we didn't have enough copper exposed. So I'm trying to avoid the copper here making contact and that's getting difficult. Oh no. I knocked off the other wire, of course. And it looks like they're just, also might not be quite enough solder on that pad. Well, it goes to show trace repair can be tough. All right. Now I have to be careful not to touch that first one. And we're in. Last step is just to make sure I didn't undo any of my other work. We're gonna zoom out a little bit, get everything in focus, do a little cleaning and a final check with the multimeter. Because everything got really busy here, I ended up exposing some of the traces on this side and of course also over here. And I ended up doing different spots just so that I wasn't accidentally bridging with the um, with the um, lead of the multimeter. So starting here, which is the third one from the top, which if we count down is this one here. We do have continuity. Do the next one over is over here. And then the next one is, I believe, this one, which is our big uh, first of the wires. Then below, over here. Oh, yep. And then the last one here is our wire. Okay, and that has continuity. And then finally, the very first one we have exposed over here. And that also has continuity. So that means everything that we rewired is still good, even after our cleaning. Our last step is just to seal it all up. So we're gonna use a UV curing conformal coating. All right, so we're just gonna add a couple of drops. I'm actually gonna spread it with a little brush just to make it easier and faster because we do have a lot on there. All right, that ought to do. And I'm gonna be using this UV light to cure the conformal coating. It's gonna take a few minutes, but if you liked the video, if you found it helpful or useful, leave us a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching as always.